Good day, children! Our subject for today is English. We are now on the second week of the third quarter. Today, we're going to learn about recognizing sentences and non-sentences. This module will help you recognize sentences and non-sentences. Specifically, this will help you to distinguish sentence from non-sentence, identify telling and asking sentences, and use the proper punctuation marks for telling and asking sentences. Let us start your journey in learning more on recognizing sentences and non-sentences. I am sure you are ready and excited to answer the pretest. Smile and cheer up! Read each item carefully and choose the letter of the correct answer. 1. Which is a sentence? A. My baby brother B. In the playground C. I want to read a story 2. Which is an example of a non-sentence? A. Marco is my best friend B. We go to school together C. The most exciting day ever Three, which is true about sentences? A. They start with a small letter. B. They express a complete idea. C. They have no punctuation mark at the end. Four, which is the correct punctuation mark in a telling sentence? A. Period. B. Question mark. C. Both period and question mark. 5. Which is an example of an asking sentence? A. What is your favorite color? B. My sister likes to play with me. C. We have a pet dog at home. We said that rhyming words make stories, poems, and songs fun and interesting. A group of words have to make sense so you can have a clear idea of what it is all about. If the words are not arranged properly or the thought is incomplete, you may have a hard time getting the message. Let us look at this group of words from the nursery rhymes. Color the happy face if it has a complete thought, or sad face if it doesn't. 1. The wheels on the bus. 2. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. 3. Mary had a little lamb. 4. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. A sentence is a group of words that expresses a complete thought. Let's study these examples. The first column are examples of sentences. 1. The cat is on the mat. 2. Jen got a new pen. 3. Ben takes a nap. The second column are examples of non-sentences. Sat on the mat. New pen. Takes a nap. The two kinds of sentence are telling and asking. Telling sentence describes about something or gives you a story. It begins with a capital letter and ends with a period. For example, 
Punky is our white dog. We went to the park last week. While asking sentence looks for an answer about something you want to know. It begins with a capital letter and ends with a question mark. It usually begins with what, where, when, why, who, or how. For example, where did you go last week? Do you have a pet? Our first activity is what we call sentence or not sentence. Read each group of words and then write yes on the line if it is a sentence and no if it is a non-sentence. 1. I can swim in the pool. 2. Ted hits the ball. 3. Milk in a cup. 4. Ice cream I like 5. The children stay at home Our activity 2 is about telling or asking sentence. Study the given picture. On the line next to each sentence, Write T for telling or A for asking sentence. 1. Where is the center? 2. Are you scared of it? 3. The nurse is waiting. 4. He'll get a flu shot. 5. Who is with him? 6. She looks nice. Our activity 3 is about sentence punctuation. Read each pair of sentences. Put a period for telling sentence or a question mark for asking sentence. 1. What is your name? 2. My name is Frances. 3. Where is my bag? 4. I found it inside. 5. We will go there tomorrow. 6. When will you go to the park? 7. I am 7 years old. 8. How old are you now? Let us remember, a sentence is a group of words that expresses a complete thought. Every sentence starts with a big or capital letter and ends with a punctuation mark. A telling sentence is a statement about something. It uses a period at the end. An asking sentence is a question about something. It has a question mark at the end. It usually starts with what, where, when, why, who, or how. For our next activity, arrange the order of words to form a sentence. Use the correct punctuation mark to show a telling or asking sentence. 1. Your birthday, when, is. 2. The is cake delicious. 3. Visitors, who you are. 4. Excited to, everyone is attend. 5. Is the best party it
And for our post test, read each item carefully. Choose the letter of the correct answer. 1. Which is a sentence? A. This is our house. B. A small community. C. All the people around us. 2. Which is an example of a non-sentence? A. It is a sunny day. B. The clouds in the sky. C. The sun shines bright. Three, which is not true about sentences? A. They begin with a small letter. B. They express a complete idea. C. They end with a punctuation mark. 4. Which is a telling sentence? A. Where is your school? B. I am a grade 1 pupil. C. Who is your new teacher? 5. Which is an example of an asking sentence? A. Why is the virus dangerous? B. Washing hands is our protection. C. We need to stay home for a long time. 